Hello guys, um, Rose wanted to see if I can solo this one, so we're going to try to solo it. First of all, I'm going to make sure my character is geared up correctly. Um, I will be on my own, which means... Shall I go with damage, or shall I sacrifice... I'm going to sacrifice it and go with... I'm going to go with that one. As it'll give me more damage in stats, but less in deep uh, damage penetration. But it'll also back me up on my healing, which is probably a good idea, since I will be alone in it. So I want to make sure that my HP lasts. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. Okay, we're going down here. We can go there. We can go here as well. We can go to that. I believe this should be the build I need for soloing this event. Okay, that's we've done basically everything here. I'm glad I did just do this with my boy. That's on this one. Yeah, okay, I've done this one quietly. So I can get a little bit of a later point. Oh. And this. Yep, definitely done. Okay, so that's them two. I'll go for the rest of the bottom tabs after. So we're going to go in and we're going to solo this on our own. So it'd be me and a load of bots. <laughs> I have told people, made them aware that you don't actually need to make a full team anymore for Adv. If you're strong enough to solo it, you can go in on your own with what's called system bots. And that's where the system actually use duplicate characters of existing characters on the game to fill the team. But they're not the actual players. So it's like be me and four robots in my team. And they obviously don't perform anywhere near as good or to the standard that the actual player would be able to do. And you'll always get a weak set. You know what I mean? They're not going to be like OP or anything like that to be able to take you through it. So you do want to make sure that you're at a stage where you're able to basically solo it before you even try to do something like this. So for me, I can do this for bottomless, easy, downwards, without worrying about it. This one, I don't want to be doing it in auto, you're going to have to play it at my mate. But there's everything else I do in auto, everything below this, I do in auto. So yeah, I've already done hard, so I've got to do this, I won't auto this. And the rest though, I can auto, so... Yeah, and then it means I don't have to worry about my address. I'm also very tired because yet again I didn't sleep because I was sitting up on the YouTube Which I have added to my YouTube channel in the um, description. to turn the music down, so I'm going to do it now, keep the background sound off, so you should be able to hear me a lot better. So yeah, as I was saying, I set up a Patreon, so if anybody wants to donate, they can now. It's um, in the description of my YouTube channel, in the About section. So yeah, that's something new. And uh, yeah, as I said at the beginning of this video, I'll repeat just in case you didn't hear. I'm going to solo this event. Me and four bots, I guess. I'm going to try to solo Oops, I should be using child since my child can do more damage quicker. Not doing that could have slowed me down a bit then, so we've just done that. They're all dead. And then obviously they respawn about two three times, so we'll just kill them all again real quick. The only thing that's a problem with these bots is they go in the way. Like when you're trying to clap the enemy and attack them, they keep pushing them out the way. So you still got to hit them. See what I mean? Took me ages just to hit the last two there. Can you 
got to not follow me for one. So you pushing the enemies away from the attack. It's really not cool. You know what I mean? You just push them all the way over there while I'm trying to attack him. Get lost. Stop following. Look, I don't like you. Stop following. Dude, I can't hit him while you're attacking him. Push him away from my attack. Rick, excellent. Jesus Christ. I hate these guys. They're just trying to, like, make you go for shit to basically attack you in there. So you're doing exactly zero damage to the enemy. I can't do that. Now well, he appeared there, which means the drum should appear around here. There we go. We'll start on this one. do about that though because I can defend myself against this attack because I'm attacking the drums. And the gods are not that good at attacking him instead of helping me. I don't need them to help me. And this is where the boss will have a big advantage on me. As I can't use damage on him to use my HP. Just countering his attack. one drum left it's not destroyed that drum even though I did it. And now this boss has been I've been having to keep more damage while I'm unable to defend the attack against the attacks. Right I've got him. And here's my special in time. I 
I can now keep my HP up. Problem is, even though I can keep my HP up, Rank pestilence. this class doesn't perform much damage. And I've lost my child for the next 13 minutes. But I am doing a good job at countering this damage. Just stop him from running my HP right down. And in the battle on full, that's good. Now we're going to head up here. We're going to switch this into Exo because I ain't going to need Preds. I mean, Priest for these. So these aren't too much of a problem. The wear damage. So I'll just focus on spamming kills on these. And then I need to focus to this area a bit so that as soon as enough of them are taken, I can start inflicting damage on that. I'm going to follow me over here. So I'll have to waste time trying to kill them. Because the mobs, not the mobs, the bots, are aggroing them on them. But they only do it when I don't need them to do it. And when I need them to do it, they won't do it. For example, when I need them to add around the box so I can see the drums, they don't do a very good job of it. When I need them to stop arguing so I can lead them over to the cave, which I'll still be asking to do later, I'll have to run away for a bit just to get them off the box. Otherwise, they won't let me take the box to the cave. Which kind of sucks. Time so far. Carry on. Of course, I'd use the combination of jumping up a tree. 
which stopped him from triggering my firm. That's good. We're just over halfway on time. Second boss down. Two more bosses to go. And then we're done. So we are doing something really good right now. from my attack. The only good thing about the boss is the fact you can do the team without the actual players. The bad thing about it is I turn in the blood away. Because my special is a grab, it makes a grab fail. So in the um, special, I'm going to use it. Okay. Great, um, Bring him over here right now because if I start attacking him in the middle, my allies will make it next to impossible to bring him to the front. As you can see, they're all on the team right now. I'm so going to bring him down because I've got two of my allies attacking him over here. And yeah, that's, just, that's one of the biggest problems with them as well.
So at the first part, you can't get the boss to go after your allies. So you're taking damage by trying to break the drums. And in this part, you can't get the boss to come after you, so you can't stop your allies from keeping the boss away from the um cage and actually play it right, you know what I mean? You've got to lure them to it first before your allies stop it up. I'm like wasting damage, it's okay. Time to do a boat today. We've got 12 minutes left. Let's play me a turn. As long as I should be, it will be right on schedule. Let's see, until I've got to do an ace, kill a wave, take out a flag, kill a boss, and come out. I'll turn the rest of this event in front of you. And that might be some cool boxes, buffaloes and waves. So I should be able to do one more thing in the box. And I don't think it's difficult to do. Two minutes until I can summon my child again. This will be right in time for the, the wave and the flood. The speed comes up a little bit. We go. Now I can't run because the game's bugged up. I have to actually jump before I can run. I hate that bug. And it'll be so much better when the devs actually get round to fixing those problems. Because it's annoying. These are the generals that do the most damage out of the normal mobs. So taking these out before um, I go into the main way is a good idea because I need my child to find a better chance. Again, my skill is failed. And right now I'm attacking thin air, I can't get close enough to them. Now I'm stuck behind my allies. That's another problem as well. The allies are there like typical allies. You can just stand in the way. You've got to use jump skills to get around them. Otherwise you can't get to them. And that's one of the reasons why the skill fails. When you try to use jump skills. That was another fail. And it failed because there was an ally, a boss, in front of you. So I'm attacking an enemy. I'm trying to attack the enemy through the ally. And because they're standing in the way, my grabs can't reach. You know what I mean? That one failed. Again. So I can't use specials right now because there's too many allies around me. And I don't I just don't keep their distance at all. It's just something you have to keep in mind before trying to solo this event. You've got to be able to solo it easy, like really easy, before you even try it. It will be harder because the, um, the system for the bot make it harder for some reason. They just will not stop following you like right on top. When you can get away from them, then you can actually attack them. So you don't get longer away from them before they charge over to you. I'm fairly able to hit them. I 
can only hit them with long range attacks. I can't actually use any of my normal attacks in really. this. Like Luckily, most of my allies are starting to die now that I've survived, so I can get in my way again. Let's stop me from being able to attack. Which is something I forgot to do. Yes. I started the special and then one of my allies used to grab on it and push it off my special. like that you just can't do it because whenever you try to use a grab an ally uses a grab at the same time one of the bots and force it off Grab only one more every time I use a grab this pressure. off your attack. The only thing is if your allies are in front of you then you can't reach them for the rest. As you can see is a victory with me soloing it and several bots literally getting in my way and decreasing my kill speed by making my attacks miss like a pain in the ass
But uh, yeah, that's me soloing the event whilst getting annoyed at um, some NPC computer pieces of rubbish. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.